Hello everyone, my name is Akere Lee Olua Shogo. I'm your Microsoft Excel trainer. Today I'll be teaching you how to use data table in Excel. Data table in Excel. In Microsoft Excel, a data table is one of the what if analysis tools. It's one of the what if analysis tools that you can use to test different input value for formulas and see how those input value affect the formulas so you can use a data table to test different input values for formulas and see how those values affect your formulas for example in these videos we are going to learn how to calculate the payment for a loan the monthly payment which is called pmt and the payment on the principal also the payment on the interest of a loan for example let's say you are getting a loan from the bank two million naira at the rate of 15 percent and you are giving 24 more to pay back the loan so you want to create you want to calculate the pmt which is the monthly payment on the loan to so you have there's a monthly payment you pay on the loan to service the loan i want to calculate also the payment on the principal which is called ppmt and also the payment on the interest of the loan so after creating the formulas we are going to create a data table to test all this input value that if you are taking a loan of three million error how much are you going to be paying back monthly on the loan how much are you going to be paying back on the principal and also on the interest of the loan so we have all this input value three million to ten million error so we are going to create a data table to test the input value how it affects our formulas okay all right let's calculate the monthly payment which is called pmt all you need to do is to type your equal symbol and type pmt so when you type pmt so you open the function you open the function the first argument is the rate so is the rate which is the 15 percent so you click on the 15 percent but you have to divide it by 12 because you are finding the monthly payment comma the next argument is the emperor emperor means the number of period you are giving so if you are giving in years you multiply by 12 but if you are giving in months you don't have to multiply by 12 so you click on the 24 month that you are giving as the emperor comma the last argument we are, we are going to supply is the PV, which is the loan. PV means present value, the loan you are taking from the bank. So you click on the 2 million. So the other f argument, which is the FV and type, we are not supplying it because we don't have future value. So we are going to press enter. So you see how much I'm going to be paying back monthly on the loan. So for loan of 2 million naira, you are going to be paying by 96,973. So let me format it and change it to naira currency. So I can click on this where I have my naira and go to my home tab and click on format painter to carry the format of that naira and dump it on this particular value. So you can see it's showing minus that's payment. My monthly payment on the loan is 96,973. So let's find the payment on the principal. So I'm going to type equal symbol and type PPMT. So you open the function. The first argument is the rate. So we click on the 15%. So we divide it by 12. Like I explained to you, is monthly payment, comma. And the second argument is PA. Pa mean period so you remember you are paying the loan for 24 months so pa so you press one which is the first month the first period comma and the third argument is the empire the total number of period you are giving which is 24 months so you click on the 24 comma and the last argument is the pv which is the present value the money you are taking from the bank as a loan so you click on the two million and you press enter so you give us that the monthly the monthly payment on the principal is 71,973 so i can carry this format click on my format painter and carry the format here so that it will show the error currency okay the last formula you want to calculate is the IPMT, the payment on the interest of the loan. I will type equal symbol and I will type the function out, IPMT. So I open the function. The first argument is the rate. I click on my rate divided by 12, comma. The last, the second argument is the par, which is the period. We are giving 24 period, 24 month as a period. So you type one for the first period. We are calculating for the first period, comma. 
and the third argument is the empire the number of period we are given in total which is 24 so you click on the 24 as the total period comma and the last argument we're going to supply is the pv which is the present value so you click on the two million error which is the loan you are taking from the bank so you press enter so to show you that you'll be paying back 24 25 000 error on the interest of the loan so let me carry the format painter and format the value as an error you can see now i've calculated my formulas so i'm going to test just all this input value that if i'm taking three million error what will be my monthly payment what will be the payment on the principal and what will be the payment on the interest of the loan so we're going to use data table to create different scenario to see how it affects our formulas you can see the way i prepare my data table i leave i leave and a blank cell here so all i need to do is to bring all this formula for pmt i will type equal symbol and click on where i have the pmt formula before so i'll bring it here for ppmt i will type equal symbol and click on where i have the formula i'll bring it here also for ipmt i type equal symbol and click on where i have the formula before and i press enter so instead of doing it again you can see where i have all my formulas so you must leave a blank cell by the left hand side of the formulas so all you need to do now is to select the value select all the value together and go to your data tab under the data tab under the data, data tab you go to a group called focus and you see a button called what if analysis so click on the button and you have different what if analysis so you click on data table so when you click on data table, so it will ask you that you supply your either your row input cell or column input cell. Because this input value are in column, so I'm going to use column input cell. So I'll click on this value. Yeah, this that is my column input cell. And I click on OK. So you can see, so data table have helped me to generate all the formulas. You can see all the formulas. For different scenario, if I'm taking three million error, you see amount I'll be paying back monthly. So if I'm taking four million error, you see amount I'll be paying back on the on the monthly payment on the principal and on the interest of the loan. So let me format all the values so that we have nearer sign. So I click on my format painters and I light every value and see to be in error. So let me increase the width. Or to fill column with so you can see how i've used data table to create the formula for different scenario so data table help you to test input values how it affects formulas in excel so you can use data table to test input values how it affects formula so you can see different scenario that if i'm taking three million error what will be the multi payment if i'm taking four million error what will be the multi payment so instead of doing one after the other manually so i've used data table to create the formula so that's how to use data table in excel thank you for watching my video my name is akere Oluwa Shogo.